Here we go. What's happening? <laughs> Hello, am I live? <laughs> yes, you're live. Can you Welcome see me? Your camera is too low. I only see you from here. Oh, wow, I'll, look at I'll, that. I'll hold it. It's super crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Wow. Okay, so you had a photo of all of this on your Instagram, but I had no idea it was that much stuff. Yeah, so, that's a lot. So it's about seven feet tall. Wow. So I'm five eight. And then here's roughly what the camera would see. Oh, that's awesome. This. So... Hopefully that's you kind really... of get a feel. Yeah, so, no, that's really cool. So right now I just started one called a kind of like a ruined tomb, Raiders of the Lost Ark looking thing. So Awesome. That sounds yeah. amazing. And it's just started, so it's about 10% done. So I'm just no. getting into the nitty gritty. <laughs> no, that's awesome that you had were able to have that in the background because I, I was going to ask questions about that. I was like, I was looking and I go, I, I need to understand this a little bit better because um, when you were trying to explain, I guess, wait, hold, let me start over. Okay, so my name is Patricia with Crafter. This is Dave Hall. He is a multi-plane photographer. Um, he's actually joined Crafter's website, which is really amazing because I'm excited to see what you guys all put together on the site. Um, but I wanted to ask him some questions. Do you mind introducing yourself really quickly, like where you're from and all, you know, what you do and that sort of thing for me? So my name's Dave Hall, and I, I uh, studied film back in the day and wanted to get in visual effects. And that never really came to fruition, but now I make uh, s short films of one frame. So, so, uh, so special effects is my main thing or dream. So now I get to do yeah. all that in camera. And I used to do some computer animation, very primitive, super primitive, you know, it's hot. on the That's side. When That's I had other jobs. Yeah. yeah, just personal stuff. And then I wanted to just do something with, you know, no rendering and more hands on. Yeah kind of old school and I stumbled into multi-plane photography. No, that's, that's awesome. I did have some questions too, because you said you had done some stop motion. I was actually interested in stop motion when I was in school. So like that, that was just really cool to read about that. Um, and uh, music, you said you did music video production as well. Um, so yeah, I worked on a special effects shot on a Michael Jackson video. For, Which is uh, amazing, the, by the way. For the movie of Black and White. So it yeah. was a so it was an eighteen second shot where he's on the Statue of Liberty and yes. they pull out and it's all the monuments. And it took like three months, you know, as a production assistant. And they had matte paintings and miniatures. And it was a lot of uh, ex Lucas people who worked in Industrial Light and Magic. They had their own right. movie called Matt World. Yeah, because you did an internship with them, right? With Lucas. Well, I did uh, the Lucas film at Skywalker Ranch. Yeah. Working in production services, so. Okay. Back in the okay. day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. That's like, you have a really cool yeah. resume on there. No, I understand. So, I have this. I have this uh, like ring light with a camera holder, but no joke. The oh, I think I lost you. It's loading. Okay, my even my camera. It'll like just boop on its own, and I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> it just wants to do what it wants to do sometimes. Um, so I did have a question because I have never seen that kind of setup for the the multiplane photography. And you had mentioned in your bio that you you take the photography at various speeds and distances, and I understand like you have that, that tripod set up and you almost have slices, right? Like yeah, of each layer. And I'll try and show you. Right. So better. Just one moment. So, so here's the camera. Right. And then here's, here's a pane of glass. Cool. And then here's another one. Mm -hmm. And then here's the bottom one. And usually I have more, but since this has a larger a model. I took some out yeah. just to have more room for the. More but I've space. had up to, to ten or lay, ten or twelve layers of glass, oh, and wow. if you light it just right, you know it's basically like an invisible shelf. Yes. You can, you know, put stuff there and it won't fall, and it's still you know supported by the glass. But lighting, right. the lighting is super tricky. It'll 
it'll take me days to to finish the lighting. Well, I see all you have this like tarp like all around, and I can understand how that could be hard to that'd be a challenge in its own right. So, so the um, studio is actually a a tent in a garage because I don't have a space inside. And nice. I live in Montana, so we have winter eight months a year. So I have heaters in in you know. I have the thermometer yeah. to see how we're doing. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. See, I live in Florida. We don't have that problem. It's always hot. It's hot and a little less hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never ever anything different. No, um, <laughs> so when you say though various speeds, do you mean now I'm ignorant to this. So is it various shutter speeds or do you actually no, move so stuff? It's literally just like when you take when you take a, a picture, it's just yeah. all in camera. And the you know it takes me about fifty hours to set up an image because yeah. everything needs to be perfect, you know, on the top layer and the second yeah. layer, the third layer, the fourth layer, and then all the lights. And you don't want too much light so you don't get any reflections that oh you don't gosh. want. That you know, and then sometimes if the background's dark, it shows every particle on the glass like a star, and so you can't you can never clean the glass enough because it's you know, static electricity. And I could imagine, I don't know if you have a big family or not, but being like, stay away from all of it. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Don't touch any of this. <laughs> right. <laughs> My kids would be all up in that, and I'd be like, no. <laughs> no, thank so, you. And, I, and speaking of stop motion animation, when I, I used to do that in high school and college on my yeah. own. And it reminds me of that where, so, so to reach the items, I can't just put my hand in. And I have to use a dowel or a paintbrush oh, taped together, and it's yes. like moving millimeters. So it's super. So I can only do a couple hours. I call it on the glass because it's yeah. so intense. And it's like it's you know super intense. Yeah, it super sounds intense. very. Was it labor? Uh, labor yeah. Intensive. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Even stop motion. I remember I did. This is very elementary, but I did a stop motion with. Um, like bendable figures, it was it was Gumby and Pokey, <laughs> two of them. And even if you, like, I, we just had them walking. That was it. I was all I was just trying to do something basic, and I had them walking. And if you just did the the smallest little thing, I'm like, it's so like you see it, it's you so see it right away. So it's like so upsetting because you're like, I tried. All the stop motion animators for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's, but that's really, that's really neat. You had mentioned too, and I wanted to ask, because you said that, because I was trying to think of examples of, of multiplane photography, and I'm so glad in your, um, in your bio, you had mentioned that Snow White and Pinocchio and other Disney films do that multiplane photography, because once you said that, I immediately was like, oh, that's right. They do have, in some of those older films, you see this kind of like, um, like 3D looking animated yeah, shot, that, essentially. Yeah, the big thing was, you know, they'd have the foreground and the yeah. mid ground and the background, and just right. by moving them at different speeds, yeah, you get an illusion of of depth. So how do you? So you would just you would take your tower of an image, and then you would just pan the camera then to get that movement. No, Is that what? Well, well, for in in no for uh, if it was animation. Mm -hmm. The camera would stay, but the the cells would move. Oh, I would want to move those. <laughs> yeah. I'd be so scared to move those. Yeah. Oh for sure. man, yeah, that would be nerve wracking. Oh my gosh. So then, and then let me show you what I do. Is I since I can't see, I'm tethered to the computer. Gotcha. Can you see that? Yes. So that's what I work off of. Oh, okay. So, think, so like, there's here's a guy, right? You see that? Yeah. Yeah. And then if I want to make him smaller, he goes down a layer, you know, and gotcha. he's on a piece of glass, or even smaller, like, you know, I'll put him on the... Oh, and that's it's all so physical. cool. So it's, it's basically sculpture. You know, yeah. it's real, real light, real objects, real... Oh, depth. I love this. So, yeah, it's super, super intense and super fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So another question too. So you have, I was looking at all your examples of your work and it ranges a lot. Um, so you have, you, sometimes you use, you know, everyday objects like coins. Sometimes you use uh, paper. Sometimes you use um, 
like it looks like like figures is there do you make most of that or is it just kind of like found stuff put together and you're like this would look cool like how does that work everything's kind of made i'm kind of addicted to foam a lot of foam and paint and yeah more foam and yeah and but some miniatures you know like for my bees i use bee erasers oh, and yeah. and um and whatever whatever i need for the shot you know go whatever work. works right the hardware store yeah and my my main addictions in multiplane are carabiner clips, just cheap ones, and yeah, eyes. Because you know, I have to adjust things all the time, even yeah. the glass or lights. So it's super mm -hmm. quick. To, you know, put a clip and attach it, and then they are. You know, I did notice all the clips. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. <laughs> There's enough. a lot. There's probably three hundred. Oh wow. I can't even imagine this. That's then, that's a lot of patience that oh, you must. It, it's a test. <laughs> and then my fiance gives me a lot of cup. We're about a block from a train, and I swear we get vibrations. So I have these huge gigantic spring, spring yeah. under each thing. And one time we were adjusting it, and it actually folded all the big bra the big braces. It was scary. No one got hurt though, so I had to oh. rebuild part of it, and and now it's God. doubled, double braces at the bottom. Yes. I can't imagine. It probably weighs a couple, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 500. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, don't have that fall on you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, you know, and it's always tricky. You know, I can't just, like, like if you're painting, you, you're not have something in your way to paint something. But a lot of the time, I have to, you know, reach in to yeah. manipulate something. And I can't always do it if the glass is tight or. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's really, that's really neat though. Cause, cause I was also, I'm, I'm glad you showed where the camera was too, because I was trying to like picture it. I was like, okay, it's gotta be from the top because you have all these slices down and it didn't make any sense for me otherwise orientation wise. You know what I mean? I was like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be somewhere. Um, so you also had done some of this work with, uh, you had worked on a children's book. I want to make sure I still have you because it's thinking about it. It's giving me the little thinking symbol. For everyone that's joined, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to wait to see if our connection gets a little bit better. Oh, are we back? There we go. <laughs> yes, you're, it, was, it was giving me the little thinking symbol, and yeah. I'm like, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> uh, it does that sometimes with the live streams. Yeah. So I was going to ask, you also are involved in a children's book. It was, what was it, Swing High, Swing Low for, yes. it was, like, yeah, can you tell me yeah, more about that? Yeah. So my, one of my sisters is a retired uh, principal, elementary school principal. Oh, okay. okay. And she wrote it, and she's been published oh, with yeah. some other children's books. Yeah. And I'm still kind of searching for the right publisher. But okay. it's all, you know, about, uh, you know, highs and lows and uh, yes. it's kind of an introduction to kids and some of that mental illness awareness, so. Yes, which is so important to talk about. That's I'm true. so happy that now people are talking more about that kind of thing. Yep. So that's awesome. Yeah. So if anybody watching knows a good publisher, you got to send us a message. Right. <laughs> <laughs> got to <a> network. <laughs> yeah, we're just looking for the right home for it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I really did like how on, on your... Um, Paige, you had so many different examples. Oh, I want to make sure you still there. Okay, cool. Uh, you had so okay. many examples on your website of different like types of material that you used. You had mentioned uh, foam and things like that. Do you have a, now that I know especially how meticulous you have to be on each plane, um, do you have a preference on what type of material you like to use? I'm not sure if you can still hear me, so hopefully you can still hear me. <laughs> I'm going to wait to see if you come back. Oh, no. Hopefully it doesn't drop the live. If it does, I'll just send him another invitation. <laughs> oh, no, it dropped. Okay. Let me go ahead and invite him again. Let me see. Technical difficulties. All right, I sent him another invite, but this is all really fun stuff. For everyone who's just joined us, 
Um, we are talking to Dave Hall. He's a photographer. He's made a profile on our Crafter website. If you haven't visited, go to crafter.com, K-R-F-T-R.com. Is he back? That's my little plug while we wait. <laughs> I think it's trying. Come on, internet. Hello. It's thinking about it. I just got to... Oh, while we're waiting, he has a YouTube video of how he does one where it's a yang yang and it's all coins. So he literally has two coins on the top layer and then underneath he starts to make the, the shape and he meticulously puts all the coins on the different layers. But that's on his website. So I'll have to see if I can figure out a way to share that um, with you guys because it's just, again, it just shows, it shows a good example of the process, uh, which was really cool. Well, anyway, I'll keep going in case if she catches up with us later. So use a lot of foam, a lot of uh, spray paint, and uh, kind of whatever materials will uh, help in the, you know, the production of the image. Well, um, you know, I'm open to using almost anything. And okay. what's kind of fun is it only has to look good on what the camera sees. You know, so if I <laughs> yeah. paint something you know on the back of the foam i don't have to do anything to it only the front right. side or the side that the camera could see right so i don't so i only have to do sculpture on you know maybe half of something instead of having to produce it on all of something hey with all the time you spend on making everything perfect i would only paint the top part <laughs> that's just smart <laughs> um is there and, uh, some material that works better than are, others they do take a long time to produce a, I would estimate it takes about 50 hours of labor to produce an image. Yeah. And I usually uh, almost always print them in uh, on whitewall.com in Germany. They're one of the best photographic printers on the planet. And the oh, wow. okay. color uh, representation has been just spot What was on. the name of the so What was the name of the company prints. again? And, it, and since it is the final image is a photograph, you know, I could print it as small or as large as, you know, whatever is desired. Mm -hmm. We'll put it on a t-shirt or a mug or whatever graphic application yeah. you might want that image. So that's a fun opportunity as well. Yay, you're <laughs> back. <laughs> Yay. So I don't think you could hear me and I couldn't see you. So I just restarted yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. <laughs> anyway, we're back. We're back. Sorry about that. People it's all good. World. <laughs> Technology is not great sometimes. I <laughs> challenging. Yes. I, I joked and I'm like, oh, I should just start doing Facebook lives. And I forgot they both, don't they both own, doesn't Facebook own Instagram now? Oh, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm trying to remember where we left off. You were telling, you were telling me what materials you use. Um, and then it started to get weird. So. Mm -hmm. Um, so I first used foam? With, well, I was first, my first photos, I used a lot of paper. Mm -hmm. So I would cut paper for hours and hours just to get that fine texture, just because it was had, you know, it felt gritty and tactile and, and yeah. then even just mixing like a light green and a dark green got a good fun texture, you know, right. so I did that a lot. And then I wanted to get a little more 3D mm -hmm. thing, you know, I use some wood dowels and, and yeah like a letter opener for revenge for the sword for the celtic woman yeah you know at the you know make at the anvil so the revenge piece right with the red hair yeah. that one yeah the crazy yeah. hair yeah so and then uh oh. and then uh, one of my cool discoveries when i did school that's the one that looks arctic with the fish underneath yes is i put i had little tiny beads on the glass oh, okay. and just lit them underneath and they just look like bubbles oh that's neat then, yeah see that's then, fun and then the fabric, or what was ice? I found if I lit the bunched up white fabric, it kind of read as ice. Oh. And I wasn't even thinking doing a polar looking ice. You just did it, it'll look good. <laughs> yeah, I think people do that. It looked really good. And that's fun. That's awesome. And then a lot of transparencies too, like for fish the, the, with uh, the cutthroat trout that it, a lot of people love. And you yeah. know, having multiple blue layers, you know, just so that the bottom looked really deep a really deep blue yeah you know you can feel it you know <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely no i i cracked up at the one that was called bees 
You mentioned it yeah. earlier in the, the yeah. other live where the guy's just running away and there's just a horde of bees coming yeah, after him. That's part of a tidbit called Bird's Beads Honey. And first it's Bird and the female, she's made out of like curved beads. Yeah. And then and then bees were that the male guy and he's made out of angular two yeah. pieces. And then the last one's Honey where they're together and she's splashing with water and celebrating and, and it's my first like triptych and or at least an attempt at a triptych, so. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, so for everybody that's joined, uh, my name is Patricia. I'm the um, founder of Crafter, and we're here with Dave Hall. He's a multi-plane photographer. So behind him is this big tripod. Is there a name for that? I keep calling it a tripod because I, I don't have a better. Plane. I, it's, I call it a multi-plane. Multi it's basically a, ca a camera looking straight down on layers of glass, and that's where I put all the objects. Right. And then when I take a picture, it's just in camera. There's no, you know, Photoshop compositing. It's just yeah. like, it is what it is with light and and depth of field and yeah. So do you just keep taking pictures and like checking your computer and being like, oh, yep. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I look at you know, I'll take um hundreds and hundreds, just just because it so much of it is just goofy, crazy. It doesn't look like anything. To like yeah. the very last, you know, 10 yards where it starts to really gel and the lighting and, yeah. you know, adjusting the focus and depth of field and Gosh. all those, uh, yeah, super, super technical. I want to say hi to Street Punk. Hi, waving. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, so another question is if someone wanted to say, send you um, a commission, right? Could they give you what, a topic to like, figure out how to make a picture out of or what would how would that work yeah they they'd give me a topic and then i'd probably do some quick sketches and i am the worst 2d artist i don't live in 2d at all <laughs> and i'm not a drag dream. like i just think in 3d you know when i right I'm like computer animation even primitive because i could think in 3d and model but to draw something 2d you know i'm, I'm not yes. i'm not the guy so yeah, no, yeah, that's but, just me. I do stick figures. That's as far as I go. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and like I said, I don't know if it got through, but like an image, it probably takes me 50 hours to produce yeah. one image. It's I believe super it. Intense. Yeah. After all, I've learned about how you have to literally just yeah. move little things. I was saying earlier. Millimeters sometimes. Yeah. I was telling people earlier, you have a fantastic YouTube video of when you did the yin, yin yang symbol yeah. with the coins. Yeah. That helped me a lot visualize what yeah. you do because you can see you moving yeah. the coins yeah. and like I adjusting. Tried to, I tried a Kickstarter about three years ago. I wasn't successful funding it. And then for that, I tried to time lapse photo. Right. The, the camera didn't work. So I ended up stop motion, just clicking 300 frames, which was fine. But then you can see it evolve. Yeah. And for the most part, 90% of it just looks like weird and like you don't get anything. But the very end, it like comes together and, yeah. and they like, really sings you know yeah no but that i mean that's fun though because i when you were telling me or when you had written about it i'm like yeah. i think i i get it but then some you know you put it all together mm -hmm. and it's like oh this is cool this is cool like I, I you don't see it every day it's not something that oh, people sure. do all the I'm time not, i'm thinking the only one doing this on the planet it's because it's so intense seriously well, no one would spend this time for one image you know they, yeah. they might do some animation yeah on a, on a few planes, but not, you know, a gigantic beast. Yeah. You know, garage. So do you have a favorite, like, uh, topic or something that you really like to work no, on? I like to look, so, so I just, I finished squares and I yeah. just, so I did a couple of abstract or more abstract pieces. Yeah. Not, I'm trying to do a little more narrative. You know, I go back and forth and yeah. the abs don't take as long because mm -hmm. it's a little more freedom on placement. Plus you can get away with more. Right, oh, because sure. you can you can make it look however fun you want to make it, make it yeah. look. Where if it's a specific yeah. image of something, if something's like, off, you're gonna be yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah awesome. but I like to do all sorts of stuff. You know, I I hate to be the artist who just does horses all the time or fish or elephants and you know, yeah. And I'm and I'm all about technique, and I'm not into any pretentiousness at all. Like, it is what it is, and you know, <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. awesome. I, I really liked the one you did, um, and I apologize, I don't remember what the name of it is, but it had the gorilla. Is it called just gorilla? Yeah, it's called gorilla, yeah. Okay. I liked that one because it honestly reminded me of the really old black and white King Kong movie. 
Yeah. Like and, with his face is in the window? His face was made of buttons on clay. No, it wasn't. Yeah, little, yeah buttons on clay. Oh my gosh, I'm going to look yeah. at it again. Yeah. I didn't know one that. Of my, one of my best friends printed it on a shirt and wore it to play at a foosball tournament. So. No. Yeah. I am going to look at that. <laughs> yeah, it was buttons. I had no idea. I honestly, and you guys now, I shared it on, it's on Dave's profile on Instagram, but I also shared it on mine. If you look, there's one of a picture of a gorilla and it has bananas and it's all yeah, layered. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are the buttons. And I love the buttons because they had a grain. Yeah. That you could, you know, f see and kind of feel the, on the face. I thought you just had a textured gorilla head and you put it on one of the levels and then you just, oh. the bananas around it. Yeah. So it was on probably a couple of layers just for the face. Probably with lips. Yeah, lips and then some behind. No. Just to have a little of that depth play. I'm going to look at that again. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm not appreciating this to the full extent I need to appreciate it. <laughs> my, my fiance watched me light it. One yeah. of my things, she had to walk away. It was too intense. Because I can't watch this. It's too crazy. I got to get out of here. She's like, I'm out. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. oh, Brandon. So Brandon's being funny in the comments. He goes, I really love that one. It's bananas. <laughs> it's put up, up. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but it, it was. It just, I like, I guess it, it just, Reminds me of, like, <clears throat> you know, movies I've seen or, like, you oh, know, yeah. things that I've seen in the past. And it kind of takes you back to that. Yeah. And, it, and it's, that's what yeah, I like about your work. Like, my favorite thing, you know, like, Star Wars, you know, changed my life. I was nine. Yeah. And I was at that right age where I knew it was creative and technical. I knew it wasn't real, but it looked real. And I was like, yeah. I'm in. I'm going to figure this out. And and the thing with those miniatures is you're, it just feels real. Yeah. You know, we're different than computer, you know, rendered. Right. People, even though some renders, they're really getting good now, better. But, but that's something about that miniature and the light and, you know. Yeah. I awesome. agree because I'm the same. I, I really love <laughs> animatronics and things like that. Oh, so yeah. when they started to go back <clears throat> and replace animatronics with CGI, I'm like, while CGI yeah. is amazing and I'm not against it, it yeah, just kind of made me sad a little bit. Like, yeah. I missed the tangible animatronics of it. Oh, like, the, sure, yeah. yeah. So, the one thing I did on the fish picture, is yeah. that's the one with the trout. Yeah. And then there's the mountains. Yes. And I actually used some force perspective. Okay. So the mountain in reality would be like, you know, miles away. Right. But in the but in when I did the picture, they're just inches from the lens. Because if you're so soft focus, yeah. Your brain can oh that's far away. Because if I saw the edge of the water and yeah. mountains, that would be far away. That's how we look. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's so fun. Yeah. So now I'm curious now, because we have, and for everyone who's watching, we have Dave Hall on Crafter's website. Um, and we're, re I'm really excited because I really want to see people hire yeah. you to do cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really want to see that because that yeah. would be amazing. Um, you know, if we want to do anything from abstract to storytelling, that's, that's fun. Uh, yeah. That's really cool. So. Is there anything I'm forgetting that you want to talk about that you want to share with people about yourself? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, is there, yeah. do you have a favorite movie? I do want to know that question. Well, uh, many, of course. So of course, Star Wars changed my life, but uh, like Raiders of the Lost Ark, mm -hmm. you know, it's one of like the perfect films, you know, right. just saw Blade Runner again. You know, even though it's super slow, you know, tempo, it's so gorgeous. You know, still, yeah. I've probably seen it 20 times. Every scene is just gorgeous. You know, Ridley Scott's one of my favorite directors, and, you know. <laughs> Do you know I'm, Stefani? I'm I have to things. ask. <laughs> Don't say that or again. Stephanie. <laughs> is, that your, is that your fiance, is Stephanie? No. Oh, okay. She said Dave is hot. <laughs> one, one of my friends who I uh, grew up with in my hometown of Dillon, Montana, Oh, I, yeah. I am like, who knows it? Who you know this person? They think you're hot. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. See, it's good to have support. <laughs> so, so here was the news. So I had lots of corporate jobs for decades, mm -hmm. but I had some luck with Dogecoin. 
and okay. cast in some of artist full time. Awesome. Since about May. And then the bad thing is my fiance broke her leg <gasps> painting for clients. So she was in the hospital a week and a half. So I've oh, been no. nursing her and driving her to appointments and she's getting better. But so I hope she feels yeah. So yeah, but she was on a ladder on scaffolding about 15 foot high. Oh, fell no. off and broke her leg. So I've oh. been doing a lot of that. Yeah. And taking her to appointments. And, but oh, my gosh. Better. And then you, you're you engaged right now. So your wedding yeah. hopefully isn't soon, is it, with her broken no, leg? No, we don't We don't have it scheduled yet. So. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> oh, my. So I just. A couple months for sure. Oh, good. I'm glad. My friend, my one of my best friends just got married this weekend. And yeah. I, I, uh, did all the weddings. I was in her wedding party. So we did all the wedding stuff. The so things, when you said yeah. she broke her leg, I'm like, all the things, <laughs> all the all stuff you have to do. Yeah. Okay. And congratulations on your engagement, by the way. That's very Thank exciting. <laughs> I, I, when I'm Julie and I say I fiancéed her, I use it as a verb. I say I fiancéed you on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> So, so wait, are you going to do some kind of like multi-plane photography thing with your wife? <laughs> but, but she's a she's a retired jeweler, silversmith. Oh, so she's nice. going to make the ring. So she's oh, so she's wow. ready for couples before other people, but now but now she can make some cool stuff for us. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah, don't get more custom than that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> We both already party, all sorts of creative stuff. So. Oh wow, that's aw that's really special. That's really cool because then you, yeah. you that's not only something that someone picks out for you, but they literally made yeah. it for you. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. I love that. That's a great story. Maybe I have her do a little mini multi plane on the inside or something. Yes, I love yes. that. I love that. Oh, that's such a good story. That's a good story. <sighs> well, well. Um, <laughs> On that note, I'm out of questions, but if there's anything else you want to talk about, we're good. And if not, we'll more. I, I, I don't know. I think I'm good. Yeah. Thanks awesome. for uh, welcoming me after. I look forward to uh, doing some work. I How can't you? wait. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. So we're going to be trying to, I'm um, um, networking with people, trying to get more, oh, more creators yeah. to join and more buyers to join. And I cannot wait. Yeah. <laughs> so That's it's going to be great. Yeah. It's very cool. Cool. Thank you so much. I really oh, appreciate you. you. All right. Have a good night. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.